will talk about the circulation of blood. Now in the body there are two types of circulation, one is the pulmonary circulation, other is the systemic circulation. So we will discuss about both these circulations. Now this is the diagram of heart. Uh, as we all know heart is a hollow muscular pump and the function of heart is to supply blood to each and every cell of the body. Now the heart is divided into two parts by a septum. Uh, this is a septum uh, and it divides the heart into two parts, left part of the heart and the right part of the heart. And each part of the heart is further divided into two parts. So overall the heart has four chambers, right atria and the left atria, right ventricle and the left ventricle. Now it is the right atria that receives deoxygenated blood uh, from the body. Now there are two veins, one is a superior vena cava, another is inferior vena cava. Superior vena cava brings uh, deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body and this blood is received by the right atria. And uh, on the other hand, it is the inferior vena cava which brings deoxygenated blood from the lower part of the body. And this blood is also received by the right atria. So the right atria receives deoxygenated blood from the entire body. Now when the right atria contracts, this deoxygenated blood, it is pumped into the uh, right ventricle. Now when the right ventricle contracts, this deoxygenated blood, it is pumped into the pulmonary artery and via the pulmonary artery this deoxygenated blood reaches the lungs. Now in the lungs this deoxygenated blood is oxygenated and the oxygenated blood uh, is carried by the pulmonary vein and this pulmonary vein carries this oxygenated blood to the left atria. So from the heart from the right atria uh, the blood goes to the lungs for oxygenation and from the lungs uh, the blood comes back to the uh, to the heart. So this movement of deoxygenated blood or this circulation of deoxygenated blood from the right atria to the lungs and from the lungs the circulation of oxygenated blood to the left atria is termed as to be the pulmonary circulation. Now uh, it is the left atria uh, which has received the oxygenated blood. Now when the left atria contracts the oxygenated blood is pumped into the left ventricle and when the left ventricle contracts this oxygenated blood it is pumped into the iota. Iota is the largest artery of the body and uh, the function of iota is to supply body tissues, uh, the body tissues of entire body with the oxygenated blood. So iota supplies oxygenated blood to each and every cell of the body. Now oxygen is consumed by the body cells, by the body tissues and the blood gets deoxygenated. Now this, this deoxygenated blood is carried uh, from the lower part of the body uh, by the inferior vena cava and it is uh, carried uh, from the uh, it is circulated from the upper part of the body, the deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body is carried by the superior vena cava. There is a superior vena cava and inferior vena cava, they bring uh, deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body and from the lower part of the body respectively uh, to the right atria. So this circulation of blood, uh, this circulation of uh, oxygenated blood from the heart to the body and the circulation of uh, deoxygenated blood from the body to back to the heart is termed as the systemic circulation.